What's good everybody? I'm back again with another video and you're probably thinking what? I'm not playing NBA 2K13 in the second round of this competition? Well guys, I saw you get burnt out of it. I know you were tired of 2K videos constantly. So I'm bringing you a FIFA 13 commentary and I'm playing with my FIFA Ultimate Team today. One goal as we go up against a guy that has probably the best players in the world besides Messi and Ronaldo. But early in the match we get a good chance right here. My boy Pato can't finish. Pato the potato, whatever you want to call him. No, no. It's not good, but look at this, man. He gets a nice little chip over my keeper with Benzema. He's up one nothing right now. He's playing with me because he's got a better team. I'm thinking, oh, man, why did I get myself into this? I should have backed out. But for some reason, my defense is nowhere to be found on this counterattack. I guess they decided since there's no timeouts, they would go hit up the water coolers or something. But, of course, they get a goal right here on this counter because my team is nowhere to be found on the back line. Like, guys, did you guys just decide I'm through playing for right now? But right here, you know I had to turn up. I can't go out like that. I make a nice little move, and Pato comes through right here for me. He does a simple celebration. He knows the game situation. We're down 2-1. to one. He knows we shouldn't be celebrating like that. But we push it up again. He gets the keeper to come out. And you know me. I take the sweaty. We take the sweaty goal. Kaka celebrates. He's like, I'm celebrating. We got a 2-2 two -two game now. We got a ball game. We got a chance to win this. They know we weren't supposed to be in this game. And we got a chance to win it now? Before the halftime is up, we get a chance to drive again with another counterattack. We have them right where we want them. All eyes on us. All eyes on Pato as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and finishes. We got a 3-2 lead. Pato's going crazy right now, and he's telling everybody to go night-night. And we have to pause the music right here as we have our first Chris Bosh moment of the game. Come on, guys. We got to do better than this. But we have a 3-2 lead going into the half, and we are ecstatic about this because we're playing against a better team here because we know they're going to come out guns a-blazing in the second half. As he hits a rocket shot from outside the box, he didn't make it. They came out like Super Saiyan 3. They transformed from Super Saiyan 2 as Falcoa gets the goal to go right here. As I'm looking like, oh, man, they're going to get everything in the second half now. Nope, I said I'm turning up. I got to turn up into another level. As we get the keeper to come out, we get another goal. Kaka gets another goal. He picks up the ball. He knows it's strictly business right now. This is a 4-3 game. And he starts lagging me. He starts lagging me. I guess he decided to turn on LimeWire and start downloading booty movies. But he starts lagging me. He gets a goal to tie the game up. It's 4-4 now. But he doesn't realize that, hey, I used to play on dial-up. So we not playing on high speed is not going to hurt me at all. There's no need for high speed, baby, because I've been playing this so long. I used to play on 56K. I know what I'm doing. Pato puts it in the back of the net. We get another goal to go right there. We're up 5-4. to four. We know we have to get another goal to be sure that we're not going to blow this game. We need an insurance goal right here. As he hits it over to Wellington, he misses, but he just rockets the second rebound in because he knows that this game is over. He does a backflip in the back of the net. That's how we celebrate. We celebrate in your net. But that's all I got for this video. We get the dub. We hold it off. Y'all, stay tuned. I Hopefully, I'll make it to round three, and you'll see some more videos from me real soon. What is going on people? Welcome back for yet another biblical gameplay provided by none other than your boy GS and first off I do not and I repeat do not try and readjust your TVs, iPhones, iPads, computers, whatever it is you are using to look at this video because you're going to see it's quite laggy and no it is not whatever device you are using it is the game this man clearly has two progresso cans and a string for connection is absolutely ass and I'm like damn this is the game I got into so I got to try and fight not only against his you know his skills but against this horrible connection but nonetheless as you see we are down 7 to 0 and we end up retaliating we go to the makeshift screen to Murray and he ends up just wiggling his way in for a touchdown so it is the tie game 7 to 7 the Cowboys are definitely one of the better teams in the game but so are the Raiders don't let the overall fool you but right there I'm sorry son no soup for you he ends up throwing directly into the car don't test the carro my son we end up getting an interception right here fourth down we decide to go for it then we end up throwing it to Brian for a first down to continue to move the chains this right here it's getting intense it's 
already getting close to halftime, and it's only 7 and 7, so this is a defensive battle. But look at Tony Romo throwing it wide open. Quarterback problem is he's on the other team. He ends up throwing an interception. I've done that throw a thousand times. You know, you see the drag, you make shift up, you lip pass lead inside, throw a bullet, and next thing you know, you move on. But not Tony Romo. He throws an interception. So he, as you saw, he kicked a field goal, and so he kick off. We end up getting a fumble. Oh man, we end up fumbling the ball, giving him great field position to go ahead and score. And again, that's exactly what he does. We are going into halftime down two possessions, but we end up working our way downfield. We wasted all our timeouts. One second left. Instead of kicking the field goal, we decided to go for it. But we got denied faster than the Puerto Rican trying to get alone. It just didn't work out. Right here, halftime is here. We're down by 10. We need to make something happen. We go wide open over the middle. The mile is awesome. That middle is completely wide open like Kim Kardashian legs. In case you guys don't know, them Kim Kardashian legs are usually wide open. And right there, we end up scoring another touchdown. So now it is a three-point game. We need to come through defensively. We need to make some stops to go ahead and make something happen. But then he hits me with the fade route. And he ends up scoring a touchdown. Man, it's not easy defending the Raiders. They are so quick. They have so much speed, and it's not easy to defend them. So we are back down to possession, and we need to make something happen. It's exactly what we do. We end up driving down the field, and look at Tony Romo just squeezing his way in there. Like Kobe Bryant seeing the white girl in Colorado. Let me just squeeze my way in there. So fourth quarter, he decides to go for it on the fourth down. We end up hitting him as he throws to stop him. And now we got the ball. We killed the clock. He has no more timeouts. It's only a minute left, and now we need to go ahead and score this touchdown to win the game. Second and goal. We are killing the clock. We try to run it, but we end up just getting stuffed like a turkey on Thanksgiving Day. So right now... Fourth down, fourth on the one yard line. This time is running down. We call QB sneak, but we end up calling a timeout. We're like, you know what? We're going to play smart. We're going to take this in overtime, and hopefully, we could go ahead and make either a stop or score a touchdown to win this game. Even though I'm battling to go through this man's horrible connection, this man still has dialogue. You remember the dialogue? <laughs> You guys remember that? That's what he's using. But he ends up losing the coin toss. And now we received the ball in overtime. And right now, this is the play we're calling. We're at the 30 yard line. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to call a delay screen. We're going to delay Murray. He's going to be wide open. Tony Romo's going to throw it to him. He's going to score a touchdown. Romo's going to go back to the hotel. There's going to be a bunch of booty butthole naked girls over there. And we're going to end up having an orgy to celebrate. And look how open Murray is. This is the easiest touchdown that they have seen. We end up throwing the ball to a wide open Murray. Except the problem is. His defender block sheds at the very last second, catches the interception, and we lose the game. If you were wide up, you will see that the guy was so wide open. Not only do we lose the game, we lose like a thousand and three skill points. Ah, that's the end of the game, guys. Don't forget to vote for your boy GS. I am out. Peace. Forget this damn game.